Yeah, so much more than chocolate, although lots of people know Thomas Hotspur's chocolates. Thomas, what are we seeing happening right now? So we are doing our setup for our desserts over here and um, our pistachio apricot cakes, our exotic cheesecakes, our lemon tarts, our fresh raspberry cakes, our tiramisu, almond mascarpone our pistachio and sour cherry tarts, and so on. So And so on and so on. And, and what's interesting is that, you know, sometimes we have to get people to set up early for us in the morning, but yeah. this is what no, the normal production is No, this is our regular, is like. yeah, yeah, we start at 4.45, and uh, so at 8 o'clock we are ready to go. Just like that, and of course, this is basically breakfast with Thomas Haas, right? This is what you have out there in the shop, ready to go for people. Well, it's exactly what you just had all morning. Oh, <laughs> yeah. kind of. Okay. Called me out. Yeah. What do we have here? What's some of the most popular uh, items that you have? Our twice baked almond croissant is probably the most popular. But uh, other than that, it's very equal. So our sort, uh, assortment is, is sold like they're competing against each other every day. Except of when Josh is making his uh, pear galettes. What is this? Pear, pear it's, it's a pear galette, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, bartlett pears poached on a little bit of brioche with almond cream on the bottom. And um, yeah. How many pastries do you figure you might have in a day? Um, you're a oh, slim guy. I know you exercise, oh, but... How many I have? Yeah. Yeah, I have a routine. So every morning I have my hazelnut danish and an americano. Every f day at 4 o'clock I have my dessert. And then in between, I do not talk about that. <laughs> but this is actually, it's true. Like, I'm not making this up. And for you, I suck it in right now. <laughs> I tell you, this guy is in good shape. We're going to be in good shape all morning, uh, gearing up for all things pastries, all things Christmas, Jody and Rias. Of course, this is just the regular routine here at Thomas Haas, but uh, they are getting ready for Christmas. So we are decorating some Christmas trees coming up in the next segment. Yum, yum. Yeah, some great stocking stuffers, that's oh, for sure. We're here with Thomas Haas. And Thomas Haas, I was trying to think of every Christmas carol that I know in German, so I know Stille Nacht. I know that line. Oh, and, Tannenbaum. Oh, so, oh, Tannenbaum. You're not going to keep Be singing? Cool Oh, I was just, I was I'm, loving it. I would love to be a singer, but I'm not. <laughs> Good thing, hey, if we can all do what we can do, you do chocolate well. This is your brand new creation for this year's Christmas. That's right. So every year we create a signature tree. This was actually inspired by um, something I saw once in Australia, which I thought looked very beautiful. Um, from contemporary to modern to classic, I think this one will be probably become our bestseller because it's a lot of fun. You can peel the petals off, and once you strip it down, then you get the cone, and in the cone... Over here, now send me show the cone here. I know he's like mesmerized Nelson, by those trees. <laughs> it's filled with caramelized chocolate and rope nuts and almonds and pistachios and... Um, then it gets closed and then it gets decorated. And Esther right now is actually attaching the petals. So you basically use the chocolate as a glue. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that yeah. is our magic um, super glue. <laughs> Imagine if we could just I attach know, everything with yeah. chocolate. How long does it take to sort of get ready for Christmas? I mean, here we are, what, about a, what, a six, five weeks to Christmas? 35 days and six hours. Oh. So we're counting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we basically start right now, which is very late, but since we're in the artisanal business of um, making things fresh and to order, um, so it's crunch time and it's, um, it doesn't sound a lot of time, but it's once it hits mid of December, Definitely. You, you can see the rings around our <laughs> eyes. And oh, so many great things here at Thomas Haas. Um, Michelle, coming up in the next segment, of course, you can't have a German Christmas without Stollen. So Thomas Haas is making up some of that coming up just before 8 o'clock. You know, it's always fun when we hang out with Thomas Haas because this is kind of part of the regular production day and we got Carrie here working on the stolen. Good job there. That's a, that's a, that's a lot of stolen. Uh, you're still in our hearts this morning, Thomas Haas. It's not stolen, it's bought. No, I mean it's called stolen. <laughs> stolen. Yes, yes. Stolen. Stolen, yeah. So this is our um, probably most popular Christmas baking. Big tradition in Germany, often abused nowadays by using less quality ingredients. And ours has been refined, so it's more delicate, more cakey uh, than the usual bread. As What's it the is. big trick? Like, so when you say it's more delicate, is it because of the, the type of the dough that you're using? It is it how more love. much you're working it? More love. More love in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, not how much you put in it, but what you put in. What it. you put in it. So we've got, and of course, Terry is just busy working with that um, dough right now. So obviously, we've got it a bit in a production line here. How do we get it to the point where it looks? as it should before you bake it. Well, you show me. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at this, and, and what is this that's right in the center here? So this is our heart and soul of the Stollen, okay. which is our 
almond marzipan mixture, but it's very refined, it's very tender, it's very buttery, mm. and um, and that goes in the center and around is. Um, and the, then so just yeah, you take one okay. and um, you give a little bit of tension. You know tension. I, so oh my God, and then you roll it in. So <laughs> it's like putting putting uh, what do they say? Uh, Cheeses the baby into the blanket. <laughs> I mean, there's so many stories out I think there. we're losing something in translation here. <laughs> so, so here, so, and then on the bottom, you want to make sure that there is, um, oh, yeah, 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 no, oh, you have to, no, no. Yeah, okay. nothing can show. Okay. So that there is um, no seam. So, and how you do that is, you just give it a few more of those, and all of a sudden, the seam is gone. Okay, so something like that. Uh, let's try one more. <laughs> So here's what it looks like when it's finished. Beautiful. Um, what's the best way to store uh, stolen? Because, I mean, right around Christmas time, it's tough sometimes to eat that whole one, but it lasts for quite a bit of time. Yeah, the best way to store yeah. is in a dark, moist place. Okay. Your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Make your way here to Thomas House Chocolates. They are open, by the way, Jody, and we're in about 10 minutes. Clearly, I have a little more work to do. Yeah, we will <laughs> work on this. We'll work on this. Whoa. We will get you there. Oh, man.